Hi guys, uh, my name is Chris Parks. I'm a personal injury lawyer in Boulder, Colorado. I've been practicing for 32 years, started in 1987, and I have literally represented thousands of people. I have collected over a hundred million dollars in judgments and settlements for my clients, and I have done exclusively personal injury since I got out of law school. What I'd like to talk to you about today is whether or not personal injury settlement money is taxable. I get this question all the time. As I said, I've been practicing a long time. What I want you to know before I go any further in this video is in my own contract that I have today and that I've had for over 20 years with my clients, it says that I do not give tax advice and that the client will get tax advice from their own tax advisor, CPA, or tax attorney. The reason I say that is tax laws change all the time. This video is not an attempt for me to give you, the, the person watching right now, I'm not trying to give you individual tax advice. What I wanna do is give you the general information to answer this question, point you in the right direction, give you some resources, and then let you get that answer if you're actually trying to answer this right now on your own. But I would advise you, just as I advise my own clients, get some advice from someone that absolutely understands the tax laws at the time of your accident, and make sure that you get that specifically just for your accident, because almost every case is different. So generally, recoveries for personal injury are not taxable. The first document I wanna direct you to is an IRS publication, and I have it here on my computer. It's called Settlement Taxability. It should be on the screen behind me. Take a look at that. It's very important that you read up on whether or not it's taxable, and the best place to go is always the IRS. They're very good about publishing documents to give us all direction on what is and what is not taxable. Even if you go to a CPA or a tax lawyer, there's a good chance that they're going to be looking at IRS information as well. So that's the first. The second document I want to direct your attention to is from Cornell University, and the link is here on the screen. If you'll look at this link, it'll also go into some good information about whether or not your personal injury settlement could be taxable. One exception is if you've claimed your medical expenses as deductions on your prior year's taxes. So that gets complicated right off the bat, and that's, that's more than what we wanna go into in a video. But read these links, check them out, and remember, generally, uh, personal injury settlement is not taxable. It's subject to many exceptions, and get specific and direct advice if you have a personal injury settlement. People ask the question all the time, I'm giving you the answer I give to everyone. Like I said, my own contract says, I'm not even gonna give you tax advice if I've been representing you in the claim. You really need to get a professional to answer this question. So, hope you guys never need to look at this video and never need this advice. But if you're watching this, my guess is that you're curious for a reason. So, best of luck to you. If you have any questions, give me a call. My number's up on the screen, and I'm happy to talk to you about your case. It won't cost you anything to make the phone call. Take care.